Hey Nicole, this is Raul with My Marketing Case. Uh, thank you for taking the time to view this video. I'm going to go ahead and go right into your case right now for BlueAllaSpa.com. Uh, before I actually logged onto the website, um, there was a big pop up here that advertised a gift card. Uh, now, most of the time, it can be a distraction from the from the website, and depending on what type of platform the person is using, that uh, it was a little X on the top right that can be off the page if it's not properly optimized. So I just want to um, bring that up to light really quick. So we'll continue further on with this. So I see here, this is a good landing page right now. We get the uh, a really serene kind of relaxed vibe to this. Uh, we keep scrolling down, there's the information, there's the phone number. We always wanna make sure, yeah, all the contact information is at the top along with the header. That way if anyone, any customer does wanna reach you right away, they know where to look for it. Uh, here's a breakdown of all the different types of services. I see here some content with some keywords that we're gonna be looking at, massage, uh, looks like a honey massage, heated stones, uh, raw skin care bar. Um, just checking through a bunch of these body wraps, different spa packages, which is good. So there's a good there's a good start to content here. And keep scrolling down, and then you're going to end with the contact page, just in case if everybody, if whichever customer likes what they're looking at, go ahead and give them a call. Boom, done. This is a good layout, a perfect. Uh, there's a really solid foundation here. What I want to key in on is though. So Google really focuses on having a lot of content on the website. Um, that's where, you know, that provides the best Google rankings. Uh, it's actually recommended to have at least 1,500 words of content on the first page and scattered throughout the rest of the subpages. And what we're looking at within that content is the keywords. So we're looking at massage therapy, massage, different types of uh, massage, uh, massage treatments, uh, body scrubs. And we're also wanting to point it to the locale, like where are we doing all these services? If it's Sarasota, so Sarasota massage, uh, best massage in Sarasota, uh, body wraps in Sarasota, uh, you know, waxing for Sarasota, things like that. We want different types of keywords like that. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section here. Uh, this is hand and stone massage and facial spa. These are these guys are ranked number one right now in massage and massage therapy for Sarasota uh, according to Google search terms. So the first thing I want to mention is that they do have all their customer, or I'm sorry, all their contact information on the top here. They have the header. You know, this is properly laid out. All their sub pages. So I went through each and every one of these. They are including a lot more content and breaking down each and everything. So you get a lot of information and a lot of keywords in there. So that's really crucial. I want you to make. Uh, I want to make sure you understand that right now content is king for Google. They have here their uh, hours of operation. If we keep scrolling down, we see here uh, some keywords: massage, facial. Uh, hot stone massage, couples massage, Himalayan salt stone massage. So these are a lot of massage terms that are coming up. And I want you to really focus on this now. Hand and stone massage, facial spa, and Sarasota, Florida. Now they're targeting their locale. Where are they going to be doing business? Central Sarasota. So they have your hand and stone. Where a spa services, a local spa in Sarasota, Florida. And they're already listing professional massage, facial, hair removal services. So we're lumping that all in together. They're, they're talking about spa treatments now. And here we go, hand in stone. And then boom, right here, Sarasota again. So within that first section, we're seeing a lot of keywords being thrown at us. They're making sure that if someone like me who's just looking for uh, massage therapy, uh, massage treatment, if I'm looking for... Um, any type of spa treatments, hand and stone specifically, they're mentioning all these keywords so that I will be able to search them on Google and come up with all of this and go straight to them. So they are strictly fo uh, focusing on that. Now let me show you the results of all this. We go to the next section here. Uh, I typed in massage Sarasota in Google and came up with these search terms. Uh, so here is the Google map listing. Here is the uh, GMB, which is the Google My Business pages. I have here Diane Lane Massage, uh, Boshu Integrative, and then I have, here we go, Hand and Stone Massage. So they are located at the number three GMB spot, and I'm sure if they want to rank up a little bit higher, they're going to need to work on their citations. So right away, they're located at number three on the GMB. That's a great start. We keep looking down here, though. These are the organic listings, and guess who's at number one? Hand and Stone Sarasota. So their optimization is really working out for them. They're focusing on those keywords to bring them enough traffic and rank them at number one right now. So underneath them, my essential spa, massage lux, massage envy, the that little day, uh, the little day spa. So all these companies are on the first um, 
the first page of Google. So here's a quick statistic. 75% of users won't go past this first page. So some of them will trickle into the second, maybe the third. After that, you're in no man's land. No one's really going to be searching through any of this. They're going to be making their decision based on the first, maybe the second page. But I'll tell you right now, me, myself, as a consumer, I'm looking at the first top rankings. I'm seeing these as the top dogs right now. Uh, and now I'm just going to call each and every place and see what availability times they have and how much they actually charge. And then I'm going to make my decision. Simple as that. So if you're not here on the first page or on the top of the GMB, you're losing out on a lot of business. Uh, this next section here, this is the program that I use that analyzes the back end of websites. And it provides me with the information that I need to properly rank your business against your competitor. So here I have your hands in stone, sarasota.com. This next section right here, I have bluealospa.com. So I'm going to go back to the original one uh, and quickly go over this. So UR is basically the URL rating. DR is the domain rating. So what is the UR? Basically, that's the trustworthiness of your website in Google's eyes. So how do you build up that trust with Google? It's through citations and it's through directories. So, well, the citations are basically through directories that have your name, phone number, and address on them. And this is all relating to your company. So uh, the more <clears throat> the more citations you have, the better you build up in trust. And what are those directories? Those are Yelp, Yellow Pages, uh, Angie's List, um, the Triple B, the Better Business Bureau, or even as uh, you can even go to your local chamber of commerce and list yourself under their directory. That's a one that gets overlooked all the time. Really strong directory. So that builds up the trust. The DR is basically your authoritative power and how uh, Google uh, views your website. How do you get power? Through backlinks. So backlinks can be from other websites, blog posts, uh, forums, things like that. Anyone who mentions your, your website particularly brings power to your DR and that's increasing your power and your authoritative power over massage. So the, here they have <clears throat> 64 backlinks coming from 21 referring domains. Here's where I want you to really focus because their DR is actually pretty low. So <clears throat> here's where they're putting in most of their effort. It's through organic keywords. They have 340 organic keywords that are driving a lot of traffic their way. So we need to focus on what kind of keywords they're using and uh, which specific ones and how they're targeting it. Because if you tally all of this together, their organic traffic rate is at 1,900 viewers a month. That's a lot of potential customers and a lot of sales that can happen. They have a large pool to choose from here, and that's because they're ranked at number one. So that's what we need to compete with. Here for Blue Allo Day Spa, uh, your UR is doing really well. Uh, you have a good solid foundation. Uh, we need just to keep going because I've seen this in the 20s and 30s for other companies as well. I do other businesses such as you know landscaping and concrete fencing, things like that. So I've seen them rank really high. Um, so we can keep putting on more citations. There's hundreds and hundreds of directories. Uh, the DR is at a good foundation too. I see here you have 301 backlinks and you see you have here more than them, but we also want to focus that we're, we're getting the top links. We're not just getting spammy links. We want links that are directly related to your scope of work, which is massage. So 301 coming from 53 domains, 130 keywords. Now this is about almost a third, a little, a little more than a third. Uh, but what types of keywords are we focusing on? We want to make sure those are the strongest keywords and the ones that are bringing in the most traffic because they have a formula written for success. And here we're only bringing in uh, 227 a month, which is not a bad number. That's a great start. But I mean, they almost have 10 times the amount. So they have a good recipe here for keywords. And we, if we can do a comparative analysis and find out what they're using, what we can use and build on that, you can start getting into this traffic right here. So um, I know this is a lot of information to take in at once. Uh, you have my phone number, my email. Uh, if you want to do a follow up and go over anything in, in more detail or how we can talk, um, if you want to discuss a marketing strategy that we can implement, uh, please give me a call or email me. Thank you very much.